space. So if I'm committed to that running and behind, maybe somebody else needs to get in the pocket, receive the ball, and we'll find another way to get in behind. Does that make sense? Okay, so be proactive with your movement. Don't, don't play that ball, okay, unless you're sure of it. And every, not every ball is that million dollar ball, right? So pick and choose when to play that, okay? There's different ways to look at a soccer player. Some of them play for fun, as a hobby, or an activity for after school. And some of them dream of being that next, you know, Messi, Ronaldo, and, uh, and also uh, uh, kind of a status in, uh, in their community. Hello, my name is Etienne. I'm 11 years old. Uh, I play for Fadeaway FC. My goal is, is to be a professional one day and to be one of the best in the world. With the, the rising housing prices in the Seattle area and also in the Tacoma area, most people are moving south from Seattle and then also north from Tacoma. The gentrification of the Seattle and the Tacoma area makes Fedraway a nice meeting point between the two. Uh, most of the people that live in the Fedraway area are from lower income brackets in comparison to uh, the cost of living in the Seattle area. The Fedraway School District is uh, one of the most diverse school districts in the nation and uh, that comes from people from different backgrounds and also people from different socioeconomic uh, backgrounds as well. I started playing soccer in my country which is Haiti. I used to play on the sands with my friends and then I moved to the United States and then I'm so happy to play soccer in the United States. Here in the United States you have an opportunity to be a pro easily but Haiti it's hard. Your parents have to have like money but not they don't have to be rich but they have to have money to support their kids to buy kids and stuff yeah and cleats all of that When I first started uh, coaching in the area, people that wanted to play soccer just met at a park and they got together and started playing. They called those walk-ons. That means people that don't have um, the field reserved or they don't have uh, a time to play on the field. So generally, it's young men ages 14 all the way to 25 that are out there playing in a pickup game. So what we started to do is doing a little bit more outreach and talking to uh, the community and making our program a little bit more inclusive. So we invited people to play and participate in, uh, in our club programs, bring in their kids, and also uh, started a lot of outreach initiatives to make uh, communities that don't normally have access to soccer join uh, our, uh, our association and take part in our, in our programs. We have a fantastic girls program as well. Um, I'm fortunate to have some great coaches in my staff and they do a fantastic job with the girls. Uh, all of our teams are extremely competitive. They are uh, one of the top teams in the state as well, uh, especially in the younger age groups. Uh, we're proud of our girls. Uh, we had one of the girls invited to a, a national team camp as well. So we're represented on the girls side and the boys side uh, at the national level. Club offers
offers three levels of play, recreational, open to all kids in the community, select a little bit more advanced, and premier for the top kids in uh, the community that want to play at the pro and the college level. Eric Kinsner is also one of the players that went through our program. He played for our premier side and moved on to uh, so Seattle Sounders Academy and now he's with the national team. Hi, my name is Eric Kinsner. I'm currently the left center back for the Seattle Sounders U17s and I'm part of the U16 national team. I played for Federal Way for eight years and it all started out here. I started with Federal Way at the age of five playing mod soccer here and I went up through the premier level and then to where I am now. I've played since a young age at the club and I think one thing that it did for me was gave me the tools I need to compete at the next levels, the level whether that being the Sounders or even on the national level. I've been lucky enough to participate in their youth national teams for the U16 level. I had the chance to go to Italy and represent the club there and then we finished third out of 16 and that was amazing to wear this badge right here and the fact that I got to do that coming from the club like this is just a real honor. Uh, I think there's a few things that gave me a foundation for the success that I've had recently in my career. I think one of those things being is something my dad always told me. He's always said, it's not how good you are when you're 8, it's about how good you are when you're 18. It's not about how good you are when you're 9, it's how you are when you're 19. And, and that's something like a lesson all players should learn, regardless of where you're at, what field you're at, what you're wearing on your feet. You just have to compete and compete hard every day. Growing up in Federal Way, uh, it's the only reason why I started playing soccer. My family didn't have a big uh, soccer history. My dad is from Georgia. He played football and baseball and basketball. So I grew up playing those sports, but the sport that everybody played um, where I was growing up in Federal Way was, was soccer. Just wouldn't sit. It does now! And that! Look shot from distance, and there's one. Eagle hit a beauty against Salt Lake recently! Eagle looking to come. few like messages to younger players would be um, you always have to be looking towards what you want. You always have to have goals and you have to set down those goals and then actually make a plan to reach those. I know uh, a lot of goals happen to be large and it might be terrifying to actually think can I make these happen but um, I think the best thing to do would be to take that first step. So if you want to play professionally what's that look like? Does that mean going to college and playing in college? All right well then you have to get to college. What does that mean? That means getting a grade so I can get into a good college. That means preparing myself. That means looking into financial aid and, and focusing on education. And even if that isn't your goal to be a professional soccer player, I think education is, is key to a lot of things in, in our community and a lot of problems that we have, you know, education can fix. Since I've been playing for so long and um, it's been a, a part of my life and a, a part of, you know, I started because my best friends were playing. I started because I ended up loving the sport after playing for, you know, a couple years. And so um, it's really, it feels synonymous with my life. It's hard to kind of differentiate what I would be without soccer. I started playing soccer in Fade Away. My aunt, she contacted Mason's dad, which is Adrian, and then he told us that there was a good team in Fade Away, and then my aunt contacted Coach Fruzzi, and then that's how I get uh, to play for Fade Away. And I'm happy to be a part of the club. So Etienne is a prime example of that. He walks to practice every day. He uh, spends the time uh, practicing outside of his normal practice times. He's determined to be that next level. And he also takes care of his schoolwork. He's uh, uh, accountable. He's a nice young man. He's very, uh, very respectful and, uh, and uh, will, will work hard in, to achieve his goals. My favorite team is Fado AFC and Real Madrid. My role, role model would be Ronaldo because he's a hard worker. And then he's, he, he would be my hero, my, my important person beside my mom and my dad because he's someone that works hard and then he's one of the reason why I'm playing soccer today.
there are some general traits that uh, most pro soccer players possess and uh, generally they know how to deal with adversity, passionate about the sport, they're very determined to succeed and they're very competitive. We see that in our community, uh, we see that in kids. Uh, they've, they're always following soccer, they love the game, they're determined to make it to the next level. They have no problems working hard and having that, uh, some grit about them. My goal is, is to be a professional one day and to be one of the best in the world. To reach my goal, I want to work hard every day at training and then give 100% during the games and play it as hard as I can. I feel happy, so excited that I, that's what I want to do every day, just wake up and see me on the soccer field and play soccer with my teammates. Sometimes I don't need my teammates to play soccer. Sometimes when I don't have practice, I just go. Sometimes I go to Sacagawea's field and play with my cousin, take free kicks sometimes and see how I can get better. What motivates me would be like every time I watch YouTube and then see how Ronaldo become a pro, that's what motivated me to be a soccer player and then work hard to be a pro, yeah. The mission at Fedgeway Soccer Club is uh, we're committed to excellence. We want our kids to value playing soccer but also learn life the lessons the along the way and, and plan ahead. We want kids to be in an environment where education is promoted. We are constantly reminding kids to uh, do their schoolwork, to be uh, accountable for uh, being a good community member and also uh, thinking ahead for college. We have great support and also partnership with uh, Highline College and that provides us an opportunity to make the transition easier for, uh, for the kids to graduate from college.